What's up everyone? So I finally got Damon X Machina on the Nintendo Switch. Um, it's a game that I've wanted to get for a little while now. Uh, I did try the demos um, and I liked those from what I played played of it. Um, the game was still in development at that time so hopefully they've sort of smoothed out any sort of rough rough edges around of the game. Um, and yeah, I mean, this game was released in September of 2019 um, on the Nintendo Switch and then I think it came to the PC early in 2020, um, February 2020, I believe. And it's a bit of a weird one. Um, I, I think it had good reviews. Um, I think it was sort of mixed, it mixed in parts, but it was one of those games that just sort of fell through the gaps and people sort of didn't pay much attention. Um, but from what I've played of it anyway, I enjoyed it. So I wanted to give the full game my attention and just see what it was all about. So um, yeah, let's do that now. Okay, so we got your create a character section. Um, from what I remember of this, it did have quite a few features to um, select for your character. So that's what I liked about this game. Um, so that was in a demo. Before you started, you could create your own character. Um, let's go for hairstyle. Yeah, so I'm guessing again, there's not going to have many hairstyles for black hair, um, as usual. You've got your typical low cut, bald head, oh, there's the braids. Um, I can see a little afro in the corner as well. I've got little dreads there. I mean, to be fair, it's more than what most games would give you. You've got a high top. That's a bit too high. That's crazy. They could have just given like a normal high top. They just have to do like more like a fade or something. Put a fade in the game. Yeah, that, that one is that one's too much. Um, I think I might just go for a low cut. Yeah, I think I might just stick with that. Anyway, I'm probably going to take quite a lot of time with this, so let me just fast forward and skip to the next bit.
Link accepted. Greetings. My name is Four. I am the operator who serves as the liaison between orbital and outers like yourself. You have just recovered from transplant surgery to install your neural link terminal. At this time, your biometric data in the oval link will be updated and registered with Orbital. This is your arsenal on loan from Orbital. Before we register you as a mercenary, you must complete an aptitude test. Accept the mission from this terminal and await dispatch. Initiating Arsenal Boot Sequence. Data Link, Normal. Generator Pool, Normal. Energy Limiter Release. Electromagnetic Armor Operating at Normal Levels. Weapon Safety Mechanism Release. All Systems Normal. Commencing Launch. Yeah, I like that. I like when games allow you to sort of create a character and then put you into the the cutscenes it's like a little thing but I like when games do that it makes you feel part of the game so that's cool the outer aptitude test will begin soon this is a live fire exercise but you have nothing to worry about hardly anyone fails this test two veteran mercenaries will serve as observers during the test this is Reaper of the Western Seven. I'll be joining you as an observer. And I'm Queen of Panzer Crown. Charmed. Observers for the aptitude test are selected. They're here to make sure the test is conducted fairly and to intervene. What Four said, if things get dicey, just ask us for help. For Oval and the world as a whole, outers like... However, if the cost of your arsenal repairs consistently exceeds the profit you generate, your value may... We get it. Let's get this over with already. If you're not sure what to do, prioritize your survival. We will now begin the aptitude test. Please direct your attention to your radar. The aptitude test will begin once you cross the blue boundary. Move out and proceed to the designated coordinates as instructed. have arrived at the designated coordinates. The aptitude test will now begin. The next phase will begin shortly. Initiating mock battle sequence. Destroy all enemy AIs. The vital points gauge will deplete as you receive damage from enemies. This gauge represents your arsenal's durability. Should it fall to zero, the test will end. To lock onto an enemy, align the sights in the center of your monitor over the target. Once locked on, you may fire. 
Your arsenal OS will correct for any minor lapses in firearm accuracy. Use your boost ability to avoid enemy fire, and to get within range to return fire. Yeah, so from what I can remember, I think you can swap out weapons um, so you can be holding like two guns instead of I've got a shield in my left hand. Um, but you can sort of swap that out, I think, and like pick up other items and stuff along the way. Um, but yeah, I mean, so far it seems it seems it handles pretty well. Um, there's no sort of automatic lock on to the enemies. That's not a problem. Yeah, it seems cool. And I think you can you can also play this game online, so I think up to four players online. So that'll be interesting to sort of try that out. But um let's take these guys down. I mean this feels kinda easy at the moment, so I'm guessing it's gonna what's happening now. I mean yeah, this is a training training level um, but I mean shooting enemies is easy enough moving about is easy enough there's a lot on screen at once though so it's like I'm trying to figure out what's what if I'm running out of bullets or anything I'm trying to collect these things as I go along Yeah, I mean, like if you like mech games, um, this is a it's a pretty cool game, and it's a, I don't know why more people didn't talk about it um, or haven't played it. Um, it's just something I, I don't see a lot of people talk about, um, and it seems like a cool game. But yeah, let's let's um, look some more. Let's do the next mission and see what happens. Um, I think this was how the demo started as well, actually. So it may actually be the same, same sort of setup, same levels. But we'll see. By completing assigned missions. Thank you for your service. Mission briefing. This mission is a request from Sky Union. The details are as follows. Hostile AI forces have invaded Sky Union's territory within the Oval Link. Each assigned mercenary must quickly clear out the enemies within the designated area. We have also confirmed that the invading enemy force consists of these seized AI. For this mission, the area has been divided among all participating reclaimers. You will be accompanying Bulletworks. Briefing over.
Hey, rookie, if you got any questions, hit me up. I'd be happy to show you the ropes. So you're a vet now, Tony. <sighs> See what I gotta put up with? Come on, Corporal. When are you gonna stop treating me like a newbie? Four, send us the mission data. Uploading. That should be everything. Consult this data for detailed information about the mission area. Continue your approach. The mission will begin soon. Catch you later, rookie! Scanning battlefield. Femto particle density is low. Electronic devices will not be affected. Initiating each arsenal's data link. Opening squad communications channel. Begin the mission. Hey, Rookie. Looks like you made it to the battlefield in one piece. Welcome to the Oval Link! Exciting, isn't it? This is hell, John. Encased in a 2,000 kilometer wide barrier. Focus. Come on, man. What do you keep busting my chops for? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. The name's Johnny G. I'm with Bulletworks. And that lovely ray of sunshine is the Corporal. He's with Bulletworks, too. Please remember to use my call sign. Call. My call sign is my real name. Man, I wish I had a cool sounding call sign like Falcon. A call sign is just a word to help us ID each other. If you say so, Corporal. Anyway, Bulletworks has been placed in charge of this area. The other areas are being handled by other reclaimers. Choose your partner quietly. In this line of work, the wrong choice can get you killed. Corporal's right. You'll definitely want to steer clear of the shadier mercs. Just keep tabs on the mercenary room with And you'll learn fast who's hot and who's not. Anyway, back on top. Sky Youth has managed to hold this area for a long time. But every now and then, AI invaders will show up knocking at the door, trying to get in. And when that happens, we get called in to clean house. Just control, more or less. Pretty much. You probably already know about these mortals, but just in case. They're responsible for corrupting all these AI that we've been sent to destroy. But our arsenals are more than a match for them. These AI might as well be fish in a barrel. The immortals must be destroyed on sight. We'll get a bonus for each one we take out. Stay within the mission area. Four will alert you if you're about to spread. Just leave it to me. Also, sometimes on the battlefield, you can salvage equipment for your arsenal. Whatever you find, you keep. Try to recover any equipment you come across. If you're lucky, it'll be high-quality stuff. But most of the time, it's junk. I think that about covers it. Clustering is a bad attack, so spread out. If you need help, call for me or John. Over and out. What? Mission complete. Executing automatic return sequence. Return according to instructions. Over already, huh? Looks like the rookie's still in one piece, too. Time to head home and... Wait, Johnny. I don't like how this smells. Something's coming. You and your nose. Access granted. Sky Union's radar station has confirmed the appearance of immortals in your vicinity. Transmitting target data.
Gale? What are you talking about? Still alive, huh? You've gotten stronger than this. Corporal! Johnny G! Get out of the way! Major! Lieutenant! Go, no, Johnny G. We'll take it from here. Follow my lead. I won't always have your back, you know. Vegan class, huh? I know you want to kill me, but you need to remember me. Besides, you both know I'm the superior pilot. Just focus on defeating these for now. Fine, but someday you'll be next. That's the spot. Mission complete. Mission accomplishment recognized. Initiating return sequence. I see we have a new face with us. Let me introduce myself. I'm Crimson Lord, second in command of Bulletworks. And this is Diablo. You did well out there. I'll be sure to keep you in mind. Whew, what an ordeal. I just wanted to score some quick credits. Good thing those two swooped in to save us. We're still alive. That's all that matters. You really got to work on your praise, Corporal. Until next time. I will provide all necessary information for completing future missions. Is there anything you'd like? Your individual ability has the greatest impact on your arsenal's power, but new weapons and you can also have experimental weaponry loaned to you by building your reputation with specific consortiums. Building your service record through repeated battles is the fastest way to becoming as strong as Crimson Lord and Diablo. Your reward payout is higher than usual this time because your mission objective was updated from its original listing. There is precedent for requesting higher payouts, but I do not recommend it as it can leave an unfavorable impression with the client. Okay, so there's there's quite a lot to this game it seems. Um, let's do one more mission and um, see if I can get any more upgrades or something. I don't know.
Mission briefing. Briefing will now commence. This mission is a request from Sky Union. In response to the appearance of Gigant class immortals during the previous mission, Sky Union has deemed it necessary to investigate neutral areas to prevent future immortal invasion. I've uploaded a map of the mission area. The area you'll be investigating shares a border with Sky Union's territory. Complete any necessary preparations, then stand by and await dispatch. Briefing over. Gigant class immortals. So named after the mythological race. Colossal beings born from the blood that fell when the primordial god Uranus was castrated. One could say that in this gigantomachy of our time, we... Real wordsmith, this guy. Say, I heard you were the first to face off against one of the... Ah, excellent. We don't need to restrain ourselves against powerful foes, but bring to bear the full force of our absolute justice. Hmm. Well, yeah, but we still need to investigate. Better than being completely in the dark, that's for sure. In any event, it is essential that every last immortal be driven out. They are a blight, to be purged by humanity. Uh, can I ask a question? Go ahead. Oh, you're that straight shooter from Innocence. Have you been here the whole time? I have. I'm actually responsible for gathering information for our team. Please ask your question. Yes, right. The information we have on those Gigant-class immortals indicates... So what do we do if we encounter one? In the previous encounter, the area's wide-range radar and communications tower were destroyed. We gathered what little information we could from the battle data of the Arsenal combatants. Beyond that, we know little since Bulletworks was responsible for their destruction in the last encounter. It is highly unlikely that a similar type of immortal could be hiding nearby. Highly unlikely, but not impossible either. Precisely. Which is why Sky Union is loaning spe Testing those weapons is a secondary purpose of the mission. Ah, a secondary purpose. So there's a chance these untested weapon... But they're just loaning them to us? What, we just gotta assume all the risk and that's that? I'll see what I can do. Holding out for a greater reward. You disappoint me, hero. Your older brother would never engage in such unbecoming conduct. Okay, I admit it. Dev is more of a hero than I am. He's all about getting up close and using his own power to take down enemies. But me? Well, if someone's gonna give me a powerful new weapon to play with, I am not gonna say no to that. Impressive. Yes. As mercenaries, we answer to a higher calling. One that demands we destroy the Immortals by any and all means at our disposal. Such is our burden as agents of justice. I imagine being rich enough to afford a made-to-order arsenal helps to ease that burden, though. My siblings and I, we have to work hard so we can afford to eat. It'd really help if you sat this one out, Savior. What do you say? I wish you good luck. If you fight as a stalwart agent of justice, I will not need to enter the fray. That, in turn, would entitle you to my share of the reward. Deal. I'll do my part. I have completed negotiations with Sky Union. They are willing to extend the loan period indefinitely if you agree to provide them with all future battle data. Well, in that case, I accept this mission. What about you, Prince? When duty beckons, ours is not to refuse. Innocence will also accept.
scanning battlefield. Femto particle density is uneven, but short-range radar will not be affected. Initiating each arsenal's data link. Opening squad communications channel. Begin the mission. Move out. Don't let them swarm you. They're weak one-on-one, -on -one, but in a group, they're a real pain to deal with. Rookie, try using those missiles of yours. The displayed number is you're locked on targets. Fire more missiles with each target you acquire. You gotta do better than that. So you're the little rookie I've been hearing about. <laughs> you look more broken in than I expected. Name's Deva of the Steel Knights. What's up? All right, knock it off. I met the rookie at the briefing. Prince and no-nonsense notes are off handling another area. Don't worry, rookie. I'm sure you'll team up with them eventually. Prince? That tool savior's still alive? One of these days, I really need to knock him off that high horse of his. If you did, I doubt he'd notice. Barely remembers we even exist. Truth. Oh, whoops. We gotta make sure to keep the rookie here in the loop. Now, we mercenaries usually form groups to do this work. Collectively, we're known as reclaimers. As a group, it's easier to take on bigger missions and negotiate for whatever supplies we If you don't want to die, surrounding yourself with allies is the way to go. You teamed up with Bullet Wars before, yeah? Among reclaimers, they're one of the larger groups. All former military types, experts in the art of war. We're talking the best of the best of the best among Reclaimers, no question. That Prince guy? He actually needs a group of Reclaimers called the Five Hells. And that crew is something else, that's for sure. They're nobles, basically. They got the credits and clout to put average Joes like us to work for. That's one way of putting it. Still, even nobles have duties they can't shirk by paying off the masses. Well, whatever. We're all mercenaries in the Oval Link. And, as much as I hate to admit it, that guy's a good mercenary. Damn good, even. I bet you'd give him a run for his money in a fight. You're no slouch, either. Don't forget why we're the Steel Knights. Obviously. Me and my little brother Zoa are the only reclaimers of the Steel Knights. A two-man group like ours might seem odd, but that's just how we like to roll. The best way to learn about the more famous reclaimers is to check them out for yourself. Some of them are crazy. Just absolute nutcases to dive into this mess without even blinking. It's a real freak show, that's for sure. Anyway, all Reclaimers receive missions from Orbital and the Consortiums. We complete the... Sufficient weapon data collected. Mission accomplishment recognized. Executing automatic return sequence. Return according to instructions. Guess we didn't find any big boys. Talk about a tease. <laughs> but hey, at least we get to use these weapons all we want. I'd say that counts for something. I guess. Later, rookie. Don't go dying now. Yeah, so that's Damon X Machina. Um, I quite like it. Uh, it seems it seems like a cool game. There's a. There seems like there's a lot to it. Um, so I'm gonna have to put some more time and into it um but yeah i like what i've played so far it, it looks good um it's got sort of a slim simplistic design to the, the graphics the overall environments and things like that but i like it gameplay seems cool i want to try out the online the multiplayer aspect of the game um see how that plays looks like you can store up to four different mechs up in here um but yeah i like it um, if you've played it, then let me know what you think of the game. Um, and maybe I'll see you online or something. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.